Countdown is officially on. In one month from this very moment, the Bills will be warming up at SoFi Stadium as they get ready for the defending Super Bowl champs in the first game of the season. My friends, we're getting close to football. And that was even more evident today as the Bills released their first depth chart of the year. No major surprises, but we did want to highlight some of the more interesting takeaways like Tredavious White and Dane Jackson listed as the starting cornerbacks ahead of rookie first round pick Kyir Elam. Also notable David Questenberry listed as the starting right tackle and Zach Moss ahead of James Cook. But a lot can still change because we're not even wrapped up with camp yet, but we're close. For more from Rochester, we check in with seven sports reporter Brianna Aldridge. It's not always easy to join a team knowing that you are going to be the designated backup. However, for a veteran like Case Keenum, he said he's embracing his new role in that QB room. My job as being ready to play, being ready to go out and get first downs, turn them into drives, even touchdowns and win games. So that's that's how I prepare, no matter what. And when it comes to targets for Keenum, wide receiver Isaiah McKenzie sits out for a second day due to soreness. That has left some spotlight for Jamison Crowder, who sat out the first week of practice. Jameson, I know he's a little banged up early, but man, he is he is Mr. Consistent. Uh, he's going to be where he's supposed to be. Um, when he's supposed to be there. And another target under the radar, Isaiah Hodgins, Keenum says, gives him a special kind of feeling when the two connect on the field. And as a quarterback, I always say, you look out at your receivers and you get this little tingly feeling with guys that you want to throw the ball to, and he's one of those guys. Uh, I get the tingly feeling. And although it's hard to tell how many reps the starters will get come Saturday, if any, it's for certain Keenum will get a fair share. He says this is his 11th year in the NFL, so he knows how it works and he's going to take advantage of every opportunity he gets. Reporting from St. John Fisher, Brianna Aldridge, 7 Sports.